Hello, hello, uh, this is uh, Punk Rockin' again at your service, and I'm going to show you how to change splash screens on your RetroPie uh, so you can make that sexy beast even sexier. I think it's pretty enough as it is, but I won't complain if you want to make it look good. Uh, what are splash screens? They are logos that pop up when you start up some piece of technology. Usually, you know, your phone says Samsung or you see the Apple on your iPhone. Same kind of thing here. Uh, in this video, I will only be showing you how to change to the splash screens the RetroPie comes with by default. Stay tuned for a video covering how to make your own splash screens. <coughs> Excuse me. For this video, you will need a keyboard and one configured controller at least to move around the pie of retro also a quick note before we get started uh, there are two types of splash screens videos and pictures uh, the defeat uh, the default one is the one you saw when you booted up your retro pie for the first time it should have looked like this right here uh, also there is only one video splash screen included in the retro pie but personally I think it's kind of badass. Again, I will make a video on adding your own, and it is not much more effort to do, uh, but I do think it deserves its own video. With all that out of the way, let's jump into this thingamajig. All right, we are uh, heading over to the TV here to change up the splash screens on this beast. Um, uh, all we need to do... Um, well, as you can see, I have this thing booted up and at the menu here, but, uh, we're going to go ahead and go into retro pie, uh, configuration here first, hit the a button on your controller or whatever button you have mapped to a, and then we're going to go into splash screens next. Um, and that is going to take us into this other menu here. The first thing we're going to do when we get in here is we're going to update RetroPie splash screens. Um, if there are any updates or new splash screens added, uh, this will draw them in. It's number eight on this menu, so go ahead and go down to number eight. Hit enter on your keyboard. After we do that, the next thing we are going to do is preview splash screens. Number seven is preview splash screens. Um, so go ahead and go down to number seven and hit enter again. Uh, in this next menu is where you choose which splash screens to view. Uh, there's pictures and videos. Uh, we will go ahead and check out the pictures first here. Option two is view a slideshow of all splash screens. Uh, we are going to want to select that. Um, and then now we are going to go ahead and select retro pie splash screens which is the first option here so we'll go ahead and hit it around that um, and then as these are going through um, you know there's not very many but just as it goes through all the ones that come with this uh, take ahead and look in the bottom left corner of the screen you'll see the name of it on the the farthest right dash this one's retro pie dash 2015 uh, this one is RetroPie 2015, or no, still RetroPie-2015.png. This next one is RetroPie-Default-16x10. Uh, just take note of that. Um, you're going to need that to set the splash screen um, when we get to that point. To get out of this menu, uh, just go ahead and hit Escape on the keyboard. Now we're going to go ahead and check out the uh, the video splash screen. Um, that's the third option here. And then we're going to hit one again, RetroPie. And there's two in here. Notice it didn't go directly into the slideshow videos. You have to make note of this uh, on this screen. Um, I'm going to check out the uh, bottom one here and hit enter. And here's the video one that comes with it. I don't know. I dig this one. I love it but um once you're done checking it out go ahead and hit escape the other one is is the same thing it's just uh 
a little bigger it looks like uh but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and hit one escape once you check out that or the picture one and you know the name of it um go ahead and hit us uh escape again and then we're gonna hit escape again and then now we're gonna go to the first option which is choose splash screen so i'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and i'm gonna hit number one retro pie splash screens and then here's the list of all the names and if you made note of it just go down to the one you want i'm gonna go ahead and do the video one here retropie 2015 carbon video dot mp4 i'm gonna hit enter on that this menu is gonna come up hit enter again and then now before we escape out of here make sure that option number two disable splash screen on boot that is enabled if it's disabled enable it if it's enabled leave it alone all right after checking option two uh, let's go ahead and get the hell out of this dismal place by uh, hitting the escape key and that'll bring us uh, back to the main menu here um, now all we have to do is restart the retro pie and bask in our hard work so go ahead and hit uh, start and then go down to quit and then hit restart system really restart and uh, on the way back up we'll see our uh, sexy uh, new splash screen uh, so it'll just take a moment to go up its uh, normal uh, booting process whatever you want to call it and uh, here it is in all its shining glory uh, good work people we did it not too hard right uh, not many options come with it but uh, I still think this one is uh, cool as hell all right, so that is pretty much it for this video. Uh, again, there are not a lot of options built in, uh, but there is a way to put your own splash screens on your RetroPie, and the options are pretty much endless. Um, I always laugh at this because I think it would be hilarious to give somebody a RetroPie to a friend as a present or something, and then give them an hour-long splash screen, so every time they start up the RetroPie, they have to watch a movie. Uh, I don't know. Someone do it and tell me about it. Uh, seriously though, you could have a montage of video games or just pictures. The process is much the same, but like I said at the beginning, um, I think it deserves its own video. Stay tuned for that. Um, if you can't wait, Google is your lover. She or he will tell you the secrets of the RetroPie until I can get to it. Again though, thanks again for watching. Later!